Last time we talked to you was back in April. Just talk to us about your uh, fight at UFC 148. Uh, it was it was it was good, man. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the finish I wanted. You know, I always want to fight to finish, and ended up not finishing the guy. I felt after the fight, I probably could have did a little bit more to try to finish him. Uh, but he was real tough, and um, ended up being a great fight. So let's just talk about the Cerrone fight. You're taking it on short notice. How did uh, the fight come up? Uh, I mean, it was pretty simple. Um, I guess a couple other 55ers um, didn't step up to the plate to take the fight, and uh, I was still available for my last fight. And I'm just one of those guys I'm always available. You know, I want to fight as much as possible. So I had the opportunity to step back in there. Um, it's kind of crazy when you have to fight your best friend and, and form a teammate, but uh, it makes for a good fight. And, um, you know, I'm just happy that I can step up to the plate and uh, be there to fight Donald. You know, this is his hometown, and um, I know he's going to be – He's going to. I mean, he's, I'm probably going to have to fight the best Donald Cerrone there is. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. As you mentioned, uh, former training partners with Cerrone, is that an advantage or disadvantage for this fight? Uh, you know, it, it got a little slightly advantage in certain areas, but like I tell everybody else, you know, we, we haven't spar with each other in probably a close to a year now because I've been going from Jackson's for a while. And, you know, people get, you know, fighters get better. My style is a lot different, and I'm a lot better. So it, 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 we're definitely not the same fighters that we were when we were there with each other, but we still have those those same habits and similarities that we remember from each other. So it, you know it, it's going to be a little give and take, but I'm I'm expecting some different some different techniques from him, and I'm hoping he's expecting the same thing from me. His only loss in the UFC was to Diaz. Is there something that went down in that fight that you could take and implement into your fight game? Nah, you know, man. Um, you know, at the end of the day, man. You know, some guys, uh, you know, you can't really base something off of one bad performance. You know what I mean? Everybody have their day. So I don't really dwell on watching other guys lose to other people. I try to go in and just, just dominate and do my thing and fight my fight because, you know, he can, you know, he might have had one bad night. You know what I mean? I can't really go in there thinking he's going to have another bad night like that. Donald has been talking a lot about this Anthony Pettis fight that he wants to get after this one. Is that kind of disrespecting you? No, I mean, the Anthony Pettis fight was a fight he already wanted. Um, I know Anthony Pettis was probably one of the guys they wanted. He wanted to fight on this card, but uh, Anthony said his shoulder is still injured and he's still rehabbing or something like that. So he really wanted to fight here in Denver in his hometown. I don't think it's disrespectful. I think um, he had his eyes set on another opponent, and the opponent don't want to step up and take the fight. So, um, you know, it's only it's only a few of us in this organization that, that that's, that's fighters. You know, some of the guys are just kind of, fighting their way along the way. Some of us are just born fighters, and Donald's one of those guys, he's born to fight, he'll fight anybody, you know, any given day, and I'm the same way. So I don't find it disrespectful at all, you know what I mean, because I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it, it was, it was out of left field, and I was already looking to fight someone else. So, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm looking past Donald. I have to get through Donald to get to the person that I was looking at. So, um, you know, no, nah, it's definitely not disrespectful. Melvin, just talk about who will be in your corner for this fight. Uh, it would be my same cornerman from last fight, uh, Dr. Ryan Tripp, my judo coach, Coach Henry Hoff, my my um, my Thai, my Muay Thai coach, and um, George Santiago, my jiu-jitsu coach. The championship fight is Henderson versus Edgar. Who do you think will win this fight? Uh, I think it's going to kind of go the same way as last fight. I think I think Henderson um, will win four of the five rounds, if not all. Um, and um, you know, it, it really doesn't matter though. You know, I want to fight both of those guys one day, so. You know, normally my, my, I'm biased of the lightweight division anyway. I don't care who wins the belt because, you know, at the time, you know, at some point in time, I want to fight everybody in my weight division, and hopefully one day soon I'll be the champion anyway. So uh, it doesn't bother me who wins or lose. If you could match up against either guy, who would you like to fight first? I would, it doesn't matter. If, it, it doesn't matter which order they come in. I want to fight everybody in my weight class. You know, I think I make, um, I make a good fight for everybody. Final question here. Just give me the keys to victory for your fight. Um, it's going to be one tough, hard grind. I'm going to have to grind it out, and uh, only a strong will survive in this fight. You know, what I mean, I'm expecting, I'm expecting a three round brawl, like old school yard type brawl. You know, it's going to be one of those research brawls. So um, that's my prediction. Um, I want to predict second or third round finish, but like as everybody knows, Donald's a one tough sob. He's tough to finish. But I'm going to definitely go in and try to finish him. I want to be the first one to finish him. Any sponsors you'd like to promote or throw at your Twitter? Um, uh, yeah, my Twitter is um, at young underscore underscore assassin. People can follow me there. 
I'm on Facebook too at Melvin Gillard. There's um, a photo of me and the wife. And uh, as far as sponsors go, I want to thank Assassin Creed for picking me up and finally sponsoring the, the real young assassin. Right. And um, I want to thank Victorian for sponsoring me on this quite fight deal. And I also want to pitch that um, I'm starting my own clothing line. With, uh, it's in the making right now, Young Assassins. Young Assassins. And uh, it'll be launched pretty soon within the next couple of months. So people can look out for that too. We appreciate you coming on the show and always helping out the little guys. Uh, it's all good, man. I appreciate the interview, bro. Thank you. Okay, see you, man.